Yeah. Like, recall my last moments. I think we should all like kind of. This pass is the end. I must have been the one that has it last. <laughs> so it was nice knowing Send everyone. It to life insurance. <laughs> if I die today, it's because um, everyone wanted me. It's a mass murder by all these guys. <laughs> we should start using GoPro. I feel like I'm not. Fuck it, the sand is cold, yo. <laughs> oh, this, this ain't a good start. Is it recording? Oh, yeah, it's recording. Yes, you go in a line, you run in, and you just like hang out. Oh, uh, hang out. How long do we have to hang out for? <laughs> it's uh, really I'd say a minimum, like 10 minutes. Then it is out here. Alright, that, that We're all very scared of cold, cold, but we're doing this. Just like are, ready? Ready? are you guys ready? <laughs> so ready! Uh, I'm so you're, you've done this often, right? You normally do this. Every day. Yeah. Oh yeah. Every day. <laughs> She's the pro. Uh, we are uh, we we do we I'm don't know what we're <laughs> signing up. <laughs> okay, is everyone ready? Sure <laughs> Alright, All right. ready, set, go! go. Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I don't wanna like oh suck it either! <laughs> oh wow! <laughs> I'm so glad that's on camera. This is pretty fun. Oh, suddenly I'm like so tall up here. Stingray! <laughs> Holy shit! The guy just told us there's some stingrays. It is Monday, the 31st of January. You would have seen in the intro that we had a little fun day at the beach for Jeremy's birthday. But I thought I'd give you a little bit of a recap because I haven't vlogged for a while. Um, so obviously we celebrated Jeremy's birthday a week prior to his actual birthday and we ended up going to like a rooftop bar. We booked out the bar and everything. And then we also had like a family dinner to go to. And obviously I'm on prep, so it didn't stop me from still enjoying the day. And I really enjoyed, even with all my friends drinking and whatnot, I just brought my own food. I even brought my own fiber one bar when they were having some birthday cake and whatnot. So I was still able to have a good time. I think because my body fat is still at a higher level at the moment that like I don't feel overly hungry. So I really, really feel fine around people like drinking and eating and whatnot. And I think like it's really important to be this way if you want to go out during prep. You either don't go out at all or if you go out really don't make people feel bad about eating next to you and whatnot. Um, and even when I took Jeremy out for dinner, um, both our parents and stuff were there. We ordered like a big feast and everything. And um, I was really happy to just see everyone enjoy the food. I've obviously already ate there prior. That's why I brought them there. I knew how good the food was, but I was just still really happy to be there and watch them all eat. And obviously I snuck my own food in as well. Sometimes you may get a bit of problems bringing your own food into certain restaurants, especially if it's like a little bit more fancier. But so like I picked the perfect place where like they wouldn't really mine too much i guess um in terms of prep um we've been prepping for 
about four weeks now and um, I'm down about a kilo and a half since I started prep. I'm just gonna show you the graph over here. So this is my weight graph. As you can see, when I first started prep, obviously there was a nice sharp drop, which is awesome. And then after that, it just really plateaued for a long time. And then it started to move a little bit. So that's pretty much where I'm at. We have dropped calories and we have increased cardio. And um, it's getting a little bit harder, but again, for my body, it doesn't matter like how much I push it, it like it's ready for it. It's only when I get to a certain level of body fat. So at the moment, I think I'm sitting at a good weight that my body is comfortable with. And that's why I'm kind of plateauing at this area because this is where my body feels comfortable. I'm still training well, I'm still sleeping well. Um, and like everything is still going really good, which is great. But at the same time, like prep is not meant to feel like that. When you are truly lean and ready, you don't feel good. You feel tired, you feel hungry, you feel grumpy. And um, all that has not hit me yet, which is a good thing. But like, I'm also kind of looking forward to it. So um, I know all that is to come. So I just have to push harder to lose a little bit more body fat. And I know that once I do, um, my sleep's gonna be disrupted. I'm gonna start feeling a little bit more cold all the time and I'm gonna feel hungry and I'm gonna feel tired. But for now, everything is going really good. And today we're gonna be training back. I'm gonna get Jeremy to take me through a back session. So that'll be really cool to watch. I don't know how this happened. You got it. No, I let her stop She's got it. She's got it. We could help, but like now she's struggling even more. I feel like I'm just making it worse. No, no, no. I think I, I think I got. I just buy a new pair of shoes. It's all good. Just we'll just buy a new pair. <laughs> it's like the shoe is broken, guys. It's not helping with the nails. Yeah, the yeah. nails is not. Let us suffer a little bit longer now. Huh. So well, by the time you come, I just don't really need you anymore. So. It's all good. It's all good. It's <laughs> didn't need the big It's all good. I don't need the big door. I'm a strong, independent woman. What are we doing, Bob? I gotta find something to do. Pretend that I know what I'm doing. So I train that IPV Pro. I hired this trainer because I thought he wasn't really cute. <laughs> I look leaner than the last video. I'm just like, nodding. Yes. <laughs> Does Jeremy look leaner than the last video? Nah. No. <laughs> Big dog. Bulking. Nah. Chinese New Year. He's just being an entrepreneur. Nice. Chinese New Year Eve. Chinese New Year Eve, so oh, we got a lot of food to eat. I'm not good at executing, I'm just good at teaching. So, so, so you made Nicole I, tell who she is today? Well, she put in the work, but I gave her the, <laughs> the mechanics. Because um, I'm a big dog, you know? He doesn't even you know, I gave her the understanding. And even now, I'll still teach her stuff. Oh, 
Yeah. I made sure that she stayed on track. I made it better. Every show, I was like, you need to do this, you need to do that. So, oh, can you have a little bit of this? You can eat this. But he was like using reverse psychology. So, don't you want to buy of this candy? It's gonna be fine. I don't do that anymore, though. <laughs> I just let her do her thing. You know, it's a balanced, healthy relationship. <laughs> I'm hurting that my calves are so small. Back from the gym, I'm having my pros workout meal. Nothing interesting or fancy. Just some chicken breast, basmati rice, and some cucumber. And I'm just opening some of this Japanese style dressing for my cucumber. Just a little bit. And that will be my pros workout meal. <laughs> yeah, man, I'm old. I'm really <laughs> He's like, I'm 30 now, bro. It's hard. <laughs> So you're doing a little bit of a sauce combination. You got the Japanese and the yeah, Japanese and some sriracha. And Tung's here. I'm just the maid. Tung's having um, a delicious sandwich. You need a maid outfit. Yeah, I think I'd suit it. So today, Tung is going to teach me and us how to make. Uh, well, he normally makes cinnamon scrolls, but today we're going to do a cinnamon twist, and obviously it's healthy. So the ingredients, yeah, healthy, low fat. All that it, there is is cell raising flour, um, chobani, eggs, and he's using cinnamon sugar. But I will be using some stevia and ground cinnamon. So this is the even lower calorie option, or you can just go pure cinnamon sugar. It's just for the dusting on the top. Um, but basically, the dough base I think is just these three ingredients. So yeah. How much? 180 grams. 180 grams of Chobani Greek yogurt. The plain version. How many grams of flour? 150. Self-raising. Mm. I think you could call this, this like, this mini episode, like baking but not really. Baking but not really? <laughs> All right, done. I lost my seed. Sorry, we'll just work without it. <laughs> this is like the dirty part of the black roll. Do you have to put the egg in? No, the eggs for egg wash. Oh! Yeah. Wow. I really hate this part. <laughs> I have nails, so it's probably even more gross if I did it. Can you wash your hands, right? Yeah, I did. <laughs> I did. Nah, I just went to the toilet before. <laughs> but getting it into the bowl is like the hardest bit. Do you need to dust your hands with flour? I probably should have done that first. <laughs> <laughs> I think you can add a bit more flour in to like get it start holding. Nah, we'll just go with the recipe. It's like trying to get those last bits is like getting there. I'm so helpful. <laughs> now nah, we'll all do the twisting together. Yeah. It'll be like a mini. The twisting will be the It'll be a mini competition. Yeah, you gotta treat it like your baby. <laughs> treat it with love. <laughs> now we split it into six even pieces. Let the potato rest. All right, now we split it into six even pieces. Wait, hold on, we... <laughs> <laughs> Now I feel like a dough cutter. Never mind, what's a dough cutter? No, a dough cutter. So six pieces. This is... You use it the other way. Oh yeah. <laughs> there you go. Let's do that. <laughs> So is this 
tighter than the scrolls. I think we've hold it, fold it a bit this more. This looks bit. very small. That's all good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Okay. Alright, so now we just roll it into light. You can be Salt Bay and I'll be Drake. <laughs> <laughs> and then pretty much just uh, roll it out into like roll it oh into like a thingy okay. into like thin really thin <laughs> baking but not really why are your things like so <laughs> <laughs> I just don't have the finesse of a woman <laughs> look at mine <laughs> I'm a dude <laughs> it's like like I'm a dude yeah I was like, you know how it goes, like, ah, that was good enough. <laughs> good enough. <laughs> Is that better? Yeah. Cold hands handed. <laughs> this one's so, like, <laughs> thick. <laughs> that, one, that one needs to... Oh, needs a bit more tension. loving. That, that one has a bit of cellulite going on. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Alright, now the Now the bit. twisting part. The twisting. I have no idea how to do this. Uh, you know what? Just... Wing it, but you're not a very good teacher. <laughs> Just wing it. Just tie it like a bow or like a knot and then just twist it around. Ah, uh, okay. Gotcha. Done. How many times you've twisted? Is that enough? Yeah, and then you can like maybe like, yeah, connect it at the end. You versus the guy she told you not to worry about. <laughs> there you go. That's really fucked <laughs> up! What the fuck is that? Right. It started off really good. What did you do to it? D d don't worry. Don't worry. It'll come out alright. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's try again. <laughs> do it, like, twist it one more time. No, you yeah. have to go around one more time. No, like this one. Because over. it's so nice. <laughs> yeah, like that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, it'll come out alright. Wait, should we put it over there? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I actually thought I was going to be really bad at it. Because Tung obviously is the one who bakes all these things for us and I never. Like, I don't even own like a fucking sift, so. <laughs> <laughs> do you have like any chop chips though? Yeah, I do. I have that. Chop chips for like, oh. do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This one is not very good. <laughs> Every time I think mine is really ugly, <laughs> I'm just like, look at that one. Hey, hey, this is alright. <laughs> Let's see what the end product is. That's pretty much it. I think she's six. You can tell which one is Tom's. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, do we do the egg wash now? Yeah. Okay. Oven's preheated. Yeah. So one egg wash so it doesn't burn in the oven. Just whisk it in a figure eight motion. This is as far as my. Oh, I have a brush! I have a brush. You have a brush. This looks like something we used to like dye hair. But I mean, same, same. <laughs> You know what? Actually, I remember what I bought it for. I bought it to exactly egg wash when I was trying to do donuts, and I couldn't find one. So this is actually for hair. Yeah. Like I went to Priceline and got it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Dye these um, cinnamon twists blonde like us. Like blonde like us. All right. I'll egg wash mine, and you can egg wash yours. I think you just wash the egg wash all of it. Okay. Well, we probably should have put it on the pants. Oh, okay. Let's do that. that. That's probably a better idea. Why must they be diagonal? Alright, so do you want which way? It doesn't matter. It's really, you're, really, you're really committed. Let's just go all the way. <laughs> <laughs> you actually use the whole egg. I feel like you would have so just, much left over. Just, just on the top. I think one should be fine. For both batches, right? Yeah. You put the other egg back then. Wait, you want to just get some chocolate chips and like two of them? Ah, I see what you're doing. You see what I'm doing? Will the chop chips burn? Probably. <laughs> <laughs> so why are we putting it in? You put it maybe deep in 
enough. Surprise chocolate chip. Literally. Oh, I don't want a surprise one because I don't want chocolate chip. Nah, we'll know. We'll know which one. Yeah. yeah. It's like. <laughs> now it's looking extra ugly. Now it looks like tongs. <laughs> <laughs> I say how long in the oven? Uh, 12 to 13. Hey Siri. Can you set timer for 12 minutes? Butter? Oh yeah. Butter. Alright. Look at that. Look at that. I think Nicole's is still prettier. Hey, that's pretty cool. <laughs> Which one's the Nicole? The chocolate worked that well though, still. The chocolate doesn't burn. Yeah, the chocolate didn't burn. Yeah. I, yeah, Fascinating. Uh, <laughs> I was looking right now like I would eat this whole tray. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we'll, we'll calculate the macros after this and then we'll see. And do you have to melt the butter and the... Yeah. And it's now and put it in the microwave. Yeah. It's a team effort, guys. Yeah. You like personal assistant and <laughs> and videographer as well. Clean your house. <laughs> move your boxes. Move your boxes. Unwrap my weights. Just brush it so yeah, it's yeah. enough stick. Do you want to? You can yeah. just you can do the bottom as well if you want. Like both sides cinnamon, otherwise it's just the top. Uh, but then do we like just twist so, it like this? Yeah. So. Oh. Yeah. Just just butter it up and then I'll dunk it. Uh, okay. So you have to. So like, that's why you butter it up. So like. You see, that's why we um. Oh yeah. So let me butter the bottom then. Yeah. Is this cinnamon sugar or stevia? This one is stevia. Stevia and ground cinnamon. Yeah. Yep. Pat down, pat down. <laughs> I wonder if there's any real chefs that watch this. They're gonna be right. like, yeah. they're gonna be like, oh my god, what are these people doing? Gordon Ramsay. Yeah, just rolling around in his bed. Someone's gonna send it to Gordon Ramsay. He's yeah, gonna like, gonna roast you. He's gonna roast us so bad. All right. So in one serving of cinnamon twist, there is 18.6 grams of carbs, two fat and six protein. Look how big they are, man. They're pretty big. Pretty good macros. Yeah. Not ideal for someone who's like heavily, heavily dieting, but like in the early stages of dieting or off season, it definitely is a good option. It's a good amount of protein as well. Six grams of protein is pretty good. Yeah. yeah. We're doing taste test? Yeah, let's taste test. Let's yeah. do it. All right, which one did you want, Nicole? The pretty one? Yeah, I'm gonna get this one. This one then. Cheers. Cheers. Let's <laughs> right, go. Mmm. That's good, man. Yeah, really good. Wow. It just tastes like an actual real cinnamon twist. I think I prefer this to the score because it's like it's healthier. Mm -hmm. It rises nicely. It rise, yeah, it rises better. Mmm. Yeah. Worth my macros for today. <laughs> And that's it for today's vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully I will be dropping more weight in the next few days. I have been working really hard. I'm starting to do cardio today, but I will be completing my steps and then I have cardio to do for most days after that. So my cardio is currently at five sessions a week. So obviously I haven't been doing cardio today, but I will be doing more cardio. Hopefully in the next vlog, I will be Lena and I'll catch you guys in the next one.